Okay, I got mm-hmm. some ridiculous questions for you guys. We're gonna do some mm-hmm. would you rather questions to Uh-oh. kick this okay. off. We're gonna okay. we're gonna fucking set this off Uh-oh. really well, boys. Okay. Okay, you ready? You yeah, ready? I'm ready. Would Let's you rather have a horizontal butt crack or a vertical mouth? Oh, oh! I think I think the butt crack because nobody see think, it. I think, think the butt crack because it can still because the hole is still good. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't yeah. mean it's like it doesn't mean it's now yeah, like a rectangle. It's it's still going to be closed. Would the toilet yeah. need to be different? Would you have no, to have, like modify? It depends the on how wide. Depends how wide it how is. wide the body is. Mm. Mm. Because if, if you've got a wide set batty like like you, <laughs> then, then it might because, be uh, uh, might Peach be gang, peach emoji gang. Round eyes. <laughs> might be a bit difficult. I'm taking horizontal easily. Yeah, I'm yeah, taking horizontal shit. Because yeah. right. then your face right. is all fucked up. How do you explain it to every cunt? You're, you're the only one with like a fucking like, sideways. Not like that. Vertical. Yeah. How are you going to eat your fucking cheeseburgers like on a slant? That's a good fucking point because you got to stuff things in your mouth. Oh, yeah, like, indeed. Not this way. You got uh, that way. But then you wouldn't go, ah, you'd be like, ah. Are your teeth not practical? Or or are your teeth the same way or is it just your mouth? Oh, technically your teeth wouldn't be the same way. Because surely your teeth would form fucked up. That just fucked your whole mouth is so it's just your mouth that is and your teeth are the same. So that's kind of fucked. That's That's impossible. Yeah, no, you can't eat properly. You can't be like (laughs) fucking big things in your mouth. Yeah. You might be limited to like phallic shaped foods. Even though that is true. You arguably are the best kinds of foods, isn't that right, CP? Mm-hmm. You're damn fucking right. <laughs> you know it. You know it. All right, I got another dumb one for you. <laughs> Would you rather have to pay for everything in pennies or have to use a pogo stick as your only method of transportation includes walking? Pennies. So you can't walk anywhere. Ooh. <laughs> you have to. The thing is, yeah, for me, it's, it's pennies, but I know it would waste so much time. But pennies, at the same time, no, I, haven't I, pre-rolled, I haven't pre-rolled in stacks and have a big sack. And like, you'd have man. to hire someone yeah. to do it, but you'd also have to pay that person in pennies. pennies, in pennies. <laughs> but oh, like everyone, who's going to want to shop with you? Because no one wants to take it's the true. But then a pogo stick is, if you could, if you could ride a pogo stick, then that's calm. It's but like, I feel like I'd hurt myself. I'm going to hurt myself. I don't want to do that. Well, I'm in the basement. Imagine down here. And then my head is already oh, hit to standing. You can't do nothing, bro. Yeah, no, that's what I'm no, saying. No, no. You I can't have to ride, ride a bike on a pogo stick. What do you mean, Jelly Bean? Hey, exactly. You wouldn't, you know, that's right. You, you can't know, ride a bed on a pogo if, stick. Come on. If you choose the pennies, <laughs> yeah, if you choose the pennies, you can't. There, there's no such thing as monthly subscriptions. There's no online shopping. There's no. Now there is. Like, you just have to go and visit Netflix and go, like, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah of course, excuse of me, Jeff. I got some money for you, mate. I'll mail it in. Yeah, mail, yeah, mail, yeah. mail, oh, yeah, mail, mail it in. Oh, yeah, mail it in. Jar in Hessian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourteen yeah. ninety nine a month or whatever it is. Oh my god. I'm still taking. I'm taking the pennies. Yeah, the pennies yeah, easily for sure. Okay, easily. I've I've got one. I got one. Please. I, I might change the artist that they're speaking about here okay. just to s- suit this uh, narrative that some people might have here. Okay. 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 Would you rather all songs exist, but they're performed by future or only one future song exists, but it's performed by every artist with their own cover interpretation. Latter. The latter. Cause a variety only, and it's nothing against future. It's just right. like, if you hear, um, what, what was the first part? The first was every song ever is performed by Imagine future. hearing a Beatles yeah, song. Yeah, by yeah, yeah. Just wouldn't yeah. Like, yeah your so mum would be upset. It would be, his, his mum would be devastated. Would be, yeah, da- dad serious. would be very upset. Yeah, dad yeah, would be right. I can't be that no, no. So then if you had everyone performing one future song that all sounds different, oh, you probably want to kill yourself too, huh? It sound mm. different. I feel like maybe there is more variety in him having. Oh, they're all one... future songs, but there's different kinds. No, the the no, exactly just one, one future, future song, song. and Where everyone, all, all the different artists ever do cover of that song. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Maybe you are oh, right. Maybe shit. the first one is a bit. I think better. the first would have more variety if you think oh, about it. At least, yeah, sorry, I was, that's so bad. You really fucked us up on that one, dude. Yes. Yeah, now I'm disappointed. The question. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the original, the original would you would you rather is Pitbull. It's not Future. Oh. Yeah. So, like, and I think that is worse, personally. personally. I've, I've, I've I've don't even think I've heard Pitbull properly, but I know it's not great. Mister Mister Worldwide, Mister Three Hundred Five. Yeah. Like how are you from the best city in the world. 
I mean, gang, gang. I'm saying, how will you miss it worldwide if you keep rapping the the same little oh, area? Place. I mean, it's a great place to rap. Mm, 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 mm. That's mm. true. That's the odd. Okay. All right. Let me see. I got another one for you. This is gonna, oh, there's a couple. There's some good ones on this uh, fucking thing. Oh, oh, okay. This is the worst one. I saw this one recently. Would you rather be constantly sticky over your whole body oh, okay. or constantly itchy? Oh, oh, I would, it would it's sticky. I, I, I take sticky. sticky, sticky. I, I'd kill myself if I, was, if I was itchy all the time. I couldn't I'd do it. Kill myself. That's awful. I could not do that. No way. I agree. I have enough it's drama sticky. to go back already. There you go. And sticky's pretty bad, but itchy's bad. I feel like over time you could get used to it. You can't get used to itch. You can't get used to just being itchy constantly. Because like the itchy is all in different spots, right? Usually. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> yeah, the itch is, but it's over, this is over your whole body. So like, it's not just like your hands are sticky. I'm saying you're all over that. Like, you feel like, oh, I can see it so dude. You go like, you yeah. go. Every time you touch something, you're like, ugh, and you'd leave fingerprints, ah, everywhere. So it's gross mm -hmm. too. Yeah, mm -hmm. you still go that over the itch. The itch is the worst. Um, This one's awesome. This is awesome. Okay. Would you, <laughs> would you rather a nipple sized dick? Mm -hmm. Or a dick sized nipple, or two dick sized nipples. Hey, <laughs> Imagine just having like nipple. eight oh, inches of like one at the, at, at the pool, bro. That's crazy. Like, whoa, give you at a pool. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, wow. Your nipples are just girthy. Windmill. <laughs> Windmill. Nipple. Give me the give me the micro. I'll take a I'll take a micro pee. The micro P, yeah, give me one of those. Yeah, one of those. I can't do that. Why? Yeah, I'll take a micro dog. I can't do that. That's a humiliation <laughs> ritual, man. Taking off your t shirt, Fuck that, man. <laughs> like, you, you, have, have, to it. you no have to own it, otherwise, you can't do it. Like, you're asking, no, no, no. Fucking... No, no, that's shameful. That's oh, shameful. All right, well, I was going for the lols on that one. I'm still that's, that's good. Head, but I, fuck that. <laughs> I just like anything with dicks. I was really trying to see if there's any more. Um... <laughs> There's a different oh, okay. topic. Okay, go, you go, you go, you go. You go. <laughs> Would you rather fuck a goat and no one knows it happened, or <laughs> everyone thinks you fucked a goat but you didn't actually <laughs> fuck it? Oh my <laughs> god! Well, eventually the, the latter, because everyone eventually the yeah, 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 yeah. Well, will they? But no, yeah, no, no, no. No, they won't. No, they, what no, if, if they presented weren't. with evidence, they still deny it? Like, fuck, man. Doing... Then you know what? I'll take it to the grave, dude, because I didn't put me dong in a goat. I'd fuck a goat, bro. I would. <laughs> Consider yourself a fucking kiwi. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no wow. offense. Is that what it is? And, uh, well, they fuck sheep, but same thing. It's it's yeah, same yeah. Goat sheep. They all fucking sit around and eat grass. Man. So it's funny that every country has another country that they say that about. Like literally, every country has one. Do you guys say it about Wales? About Wales. Uh, um, uh, I knew the, it. The Italians say it about the people who live in Sardinia. Uh, um, there's others as well. Americans do it as well. And I they just must don't say remember it's Wales. stories where people actually have smashed those mountains. Sounds like, it sounds like an Aussie thing. Did when you're lonely it? in the outback, Dan, and mm -hmm. it's hard mm -hmm. on you too, mate. You know? That's true. Yeah, Kangas true. keep fucking killing your Hopper chickens. Up. Yeah, they start looking like looking like women eventually, you know. Yeah. Ooh, it goes like, whoa. Yeah. No mm -hmm. curry tonight. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I got one. Okay. I got one. Run it, run it. Okay. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson once? Ooh, here we go. It's kind of stupid. Or talk like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life. Wow. You talk like, oh. I'd fight him once. You don't want to you talk fight him once. once. You know, if you ha if you fought him, you could die. It would absolutely That's genuinely you could die. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's like because isn't what if it's a caveat and you go Mike Tyson at ninety? No, no, no. Like, Mike Tyson oh, at like twenty five. Okay, no, no yeah, Mike Tyson at twenty five. Oh, that's like Mike in the black trunks with the red gloves and Mike Tyson. Yeah, with the little the line in his hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that. The nineties Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. killed no, him. you don't want that smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you yeah, don't. I guess you would probably have to talk like him. Well, he talks like him, he does pretty fine. I feel like no one really cares if you go to list <laughs> like and does a good job. Uh, but he's got uh, a bunch of you know muscle to back it up, dude. I don't, I've got a couple of, I've got a couple of tendons, man. Like, I can't really, it's different. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. All right, let's mm. see if we do one more funny one. Oh, go on. Oh, no. It's like a, it's pretty. Would you rather poop a pineapple or pee a grape? Probably poop. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh at the dick. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'd, I'd, I'd put a pineapple easily. Oh, Ooh, yeah, because yeah. that's easy. Doesn't the easy asshole yeah. apparently it stretches? Yeah, yeah, it would. You could fit a raccoon in there. I, I hear. <laughs> I don't know from, for sure. from experience. From experience, <laughs> yeah, from experience, yeah. I know raccoon, raccoon can fit in there. Come to Toronto, see, and you'll find one. No worries, man. Go to Young and Eglinton in anybody's backyard. Raccoons everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. They everywhere. They everywhere. You could fit. You could test. You could, you could test. Personally. Lotion could test for sure. I can just tell you, man. Save you the trip. Yeah. Just Mm-mm-mm. fucking hell, dude. Just I've got a. Uh, I've got a more practical one. Okay, go go go. Last one. It's very practical. It's not funny. Okay. okay. Would you rather speak every language fluently or play every instrument perfectly? Play every instrument perfectly. Yeah, I think that you could do... Really? Well, because we're music dudes, so it makes sense. My initial gut would be to the same thing, but you could probably make more money by speaking every language fluently. That's true. And also, just from the travel and personal experience perspective, that as, as a fucking elder person now well not an elder person mm-hmm. but you know what I'm trying to say a middle-aged bloke like, like old very, old guy yeah yeah right yeah old old guy yeah yeah so middle yeah, yeah. a middle-aged young whippersnapper i'm like that's mm-hmm. you know the experience travel thing that that's super appealing that's the only reason why the first one would be an answer but initially get me on the fucking piano and, and the the drums and the guitar and shit and the bass if you were like some sort of virtuoso that was incredible mm-hmm. like doesn't matter what you did you could probably do, but you'd have to like break through, and music is almost impossible to break through. Yeah, in. that's the thing. Because you could, be, you could be the best. There are probably people who are better than the best artists in the world right now, but you just can't break through. It's impossible. That's you look at you know, the best doesn't always rise to the top. You know, like it's not, mm-hmm. it's not how it works. So perhaps exactly. the language you could just do more with. If you're looking for like a useful skill, you could yeah. probably do more with that. Yeah. Also, a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs would would like that. Totally. But I'm even thinking you could do more like I'm thinking from an entrepreneurial perspective, like you could do business in all the different countries and not get fucked because you speak to that language. is true. That is you don't have to rely true. on a business partner. So you could move around and all you'd really need is you know that you'd be less chance of getting fucked if you didn't like say you want to mm-hmm. go to China and do some business there, but you'd have to have a reliable Chinese partner, one for the contacts, but two to translate and stuff. So if yeah, you yeah. Speak the language, it would probably have you guys seen this dude? Um He's, he's an American dude from New York. His name's like uh, Zhao Ma or something, like X-I-A-O-M-A. But he's white guy. That's his name online. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. He's fed to yeah. me all the time on Facebook. I don't ever cruise Facebook unless I'm procrastinating on the computer. He's and a YouTuber with six million followers. And he always comes up. So he lived in Beijing for like a year, and his wife is Chinese. So he speaks mm-hmm. like perfectly fluent Chinese, and his videos are essentially blowing Chinese people's minds that he speaks. Yeah. So there was one recently, he went to the nail salon, and don't know why he was there, but the, and the lady was talking shit about him to the thing, and then he started talking to her in Mandarin. Wow. And she's like, what the fuck? People always like double take. So he learns languages online, and goes oh, and speaks like, you name I've it. Seen this guy. Yoruba in Nigeria. Yeah, like, yeah. I saw him do the Nigerian country. thing. Yeah. I saw him do the Nigerian one. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, Vietnam. Like I've seen him go everywhere. And they just they just bug the fuck out. Turkey. Mm-hmm. People give him free shit all the time because they, they mm-hmm. couldn't, couldn't believe this American person learned their language. And he also also knew like the the mini dialects from like yeah. small towns in China, which also blew their minds too. So shit like that. So point one seeing what he all. does for it, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and seeing the reaction from people because they just can't yeah. believe that. they would be they'll be so gassed they'll be so, so gassed. gassed so yeah yeah, that, yeah i'd rather do that to think yeah. um what can you speak uh bogan do you think oh yeah oh, oh no, yeah man. Uh, yeah fuck, I swear, no, that's, that's, that's a tough that's a tough language really tough look oh, right. if i can teach you mate don't worry about yeah, it yeah, if I can mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah fair 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 thank you yeah, you fucking mad dogs aren't you fucking mad guns that was good that was good. I enjoyed that a lot. All right. All right. You fucking sick tons. So where do we want to go? Maybe we just do any, if there's any updates and then we can do the project review and then we've got a little bit of like fun news and stuff. And then uh, maybe the little dice roll game because that's a banger. Yeah, it's fucking um, What's been Guani? Dick knows? Uh, nothing <laughs> crazy. Yes, exactly. Um, just doing bad immigration shit. That's basically been my life for the past uh, week and or two. 
So doing that shit, and then I got so a new annoying. laptop. Oh, oh you did? No, well, yes, but yes. Mm. Yeah, I did get a new laptop. So there's that. And uh, there's something else that happened. I don't really remember. Oh, I went to play golf yesterday. Oh, yeah. How was that? I went to a bougie swimming. golf club. It was swimming fucking sick. Did it went swimmingly good? well. No. But no, golf time. We, but yeah, it's fucking hard. But the videos I got, I cut off the parts where I done bad. So it looked <laughs> like the a, stories were good. The story it was good. Right? We had like a three <laughs> second. It was like just hit the swing. I was like, oh yeah, sick. Yeah. And then driving off in cars, nice. It was nice. Mm-hmm. It was good. Solid content. Good. Solid content. You know. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, there's a bougie, bougie place where apparently fucking Doug Ford goes and some of the Raptors go and shit. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, big ball. So I might as well come. So was it, was it um, up towards? Um, so towards Vaughan. Vaughan. Towards Vaughan North. It felt towards North. Vaughan. It's an area called Kleinberg. Okay, let's see what that is. K L E I M. Yeah, Kleinberg on Oh yeah, right. Just to the west of Vaughan now, I see. Mm-hmm. It was like 40 minutes away. It wasn't it wasn't too long. Right. Okay. There's, uh, there's, honestly, that's where when we were um doing the research. Uh, oh, it's a place called Nashville, nice. Of where to live in Ontario. Um mm-hmm. Vaughn we were looking at just because it was yeah. like when we when we realized like oh downtown Toronto and even Scarborough and shit is like crazy expensive so we're like all right where else do we want to go and then we were looking at we we're like oh, I don't want to do fucking Whippy and Ajax and stuff like what no, about no. what about like Vaughn and bowler ass cribs like there are so many like yeah, bowler yeah, ass yeah. Area, uh, areas up there mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. seems sick there's an area called Purpleville huh nice huh. nice. <laughs> it was lit. It was a good time. I yeah. want to go more often. I want to go frequently. So, oh, that was wasn't even far where we went to the tennis. I'll talk about that in a second. It's like I'm not too far at all. I see. Okay, oh, that side. Interesting. Interesting. Near Woodbridge and that. Okay, I don't really know the geography out there. Anyway, nice, bro. Mm. Golf in Mans. That was good shit. Good shit. Dan good. Uh, Tiger Johnson Sim. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just like him in what? real life and on on the uh, what yeah. they call it, the field. The uh, what the fuck do they call it? On the course, on the, the green, course, on the green, know. the fairway. No, on the fairway. I think the course. I think the course. Cause it's a golf course. Maybe it's the course. Maybe, maybe, like maybe. We yeah, need yeah. to get better with the sports terms. Yeah, yeah eventually, eventually. Fuck, but yeah, that's, fuck that, yeah, that's for me. That's for me. Oh, no dog. Mm-hmm. What's going on, big cunt? <clears throat> fuck, mate. Busy week. Uh, a lot happened. Uh, smashed me bike up on Wednesday. Had a bit of a huge year at the skate park. Broke my back wheel, uh, smashed my hand up and my back, a bit of my legs and stuff. Jeez. Uh, just, you know, just had it. Yeah, just was cruising. Bad luck. Did you get it on camera? Did get slight bit of it on camera. My buddy got some, but nice. I followed my friend into this little gap. So, like, you know, jumped off this retaining wall. And it was like a get 10, 12 foot gap onto transferring into the skate park onto a, uh, a ramp to go down. So, anyway. Did it the first time, stoked as, genuinely scared, pumped, made it. And so like two minutes later, I just tried to do it again, went too slow, cased it, and it's like a square edge of concrete and the tire, sorry, the uh, wheel hit it and the, the rim just kind of buckled. And every, the tire blew up, all the sealant, tire sealant went everywhere. Wow. And then, uh, I had to hobble home with it. So yeah, I basically, because I hit it on an angle, like I hit the ground, my right hand punched the ground because I was still holding my handlebars. So it's kind of punched that and spun around and got some little grazes. So I was fine, just a couple of bruises and, and uh, a swollen wrist. So uh, got to get a new wheel, but it's all good. Found a solution. I'm just, uh, ordering it tomorrow. Okay, so oh, you're nice. out of action for bikes for until then. The bikes just marked. Um, yeah, using the, your back your backup one or no? Using the, using the commuter, but uh, yeah. So that's the bad part of the bike news. The good part of the bike news is on Saturday the Don Jam 2024 happened in the Don Valley. Uh, it's an annual jam at the Dirt Jumps uh, in Crothers Woods, right next to the Don River. And there's a bunch of dirt jumps and and pump track and area for barbecues and fire and like cool. You know, all welcome, all bikes, all ages. Um, so yeah. Uh, a bunch of sponsors, a bunch of bike shops, and uh, a bunch of you know drone pilots and social media people and YouTube people and everybody just who likes bikes and knows that that place exists were there. Um, genuinely good vibes, good community, dogs, babies, you know every kind of bike. There's those like, one wheel things. There's lots of people on BMX, dirt jumpers, mountain bikes. Awesome. So yeah, had a really good Saturday. 
Um, I've vlogged the whole thing. I'm in the middle of a massive edit right now. Uh, I've got, I had like an hour of footage. Mm. I've got down to like 22 minutes of like fire. Um, nice. And I actually have for the first time on Notion MTB YouTube, I'm going to have some drone footage in my uh, Ooh. in my episode. Thanks to uh, Alex. Um, Alex Elevates is his name on Instagram. He's a drone pilot that I met through the, the Don Valley mountain bike community. And mm. he's a crazy drone pilot. So he was there and he lent me some of his B-roll stuff so I could fill in some of the end of my what a video. So, yeah, really, really uh, sincere thanks to Alex. And so really excited about this episode. It's going to drop on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this Saturday the 17th. 17th. Uh, 17th. Thank you. Yep, sweet. And uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Notion MTV YouTube. Get a dog up. Yeah. Get a trailer. Wow. Bro. That's sick. Wolf. Nice work. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a busy day of uh, vlogging. And now I'm just getting, you know, getting my. I've been knee deep in it since the, the morning. So I'll have it finished probably by tomorrow. Nice. Night. That's great, man. Good to see you. Love to hear it. Love it. Um, what's the news? Well, last Thursday, we won tickets through like Rogers to go to the tennis the wta women's tournament Mm. and um it's fucking great it's really cool uh we had six seats um like dan and clover took care of uh barrington for us and um it was wicked the parking was two dollars flat rate all night and this was in north york at at york university where tiff went so like she hadn't been back in forever so there's a stadium there called sobe stadium and was sick we saw naomi uh, naomi osaka I wanted mm-hmm. to yell out like Cordae's the goat, but I didn't. You couldn't do that. Uh, couldn't do it. Might distract her. She lost. Sure. She got her ass kicked. Um, but yeah. uh, she's I, apparently she had a kid. I had no idea. So she's yeah, probably she had a kid. She took a sabbatical. Yeah. Is that no one of idea. her first games back? So. so it was very cool to see. It was great. Had Tiff. It was really funny because I took for granted how exposed to tennis we are. Like the night before, Tiff was like, "So how do they score it?" Or on the way to driving there, she's like, "So how does the scoring work?" I'm like. And trying to even remember because I forgot some of it, and then trying to explain. Damn. Okay, so awesome. it's like love means none, right? And then one point is fifteen, like, okay, and the two points is thirty, and then three points mm-hmm. is forty. And if you don't beat them by two points, then it goes to advantage, and you could just go back and forth fucking for hours if you just someone keep doesn't get two in a row. Yeah, and just trying to explain. There's that like, like no end time, so no, it was technically uh, it can last forever. Like if, it's it's ridiculous. It's pretty crazy. Some of the men's ones, I remember in the Australian Open, used to go five, six hours and stuff, like because they have to win best yeah, of uh, five, like six or seven hours, some bullshit like that. Yeah, longest is eleven hours and five think... minutes. Fuck. Who was it? Some guy called uh, John Eisner and Nicholas Mah- Mahat. I don't know. And didn't say when? Yeah, it's in 2010 Wimbledon. What oh, shit? Eleven hours. Yeah. That's insane. Even hours. Let me see who these guys even are. I'm not even sure. So they this guy is be... an American former tennis player, the John guy. And Nicholas is a French player who oh, is active. He's 42 years old. Damn. Oh, wow. Imagine being 42. Kill yourself. So old. I know. It's like, so old. It's just so much. Like it's a, it's a lot. But it was it was nice to see it and it was cool. And Tiff's so, like, hey, he's got us interested in uh we want an activity like you got an activity you notion. Know, like we and Dan, you got soccer. Like we just walk, and I do. Like I'm working out now and doing my little thing. But like I want like an activity that's fun where the byproduct is fitness. So like nice. tennis, or um, we want to try it all. Tennis, pickleball, and Dan was what was the one you were telling us? Was it called paddle ball? Paddle, yeah, yeah, yeah. paddle. That's what Stormzy uh, plays. It's fun. It looks so yeah. cool. It just looks so sick. I want to place paddle ball. I'm gonna put that up because I want to uh, yeah. remember paddle ball versus pickleball. Yeah. There's a paddle ball Toronto. Is a Toronto par- in Cherry yeah, yeah, there's one. Yeah, that's where exactly where I play football. I oh, literally I searched see. for it the other day. Yeah, yeah. Right. so I might do it. Volleyball, maybe with Sorry, the dude. yeah, it might be. It might be where Volley- they play volleyball. volleyball yeah, look at yeah. this Toronto right. Paddle Club. The paddle. But it, it's expensive if you don't book with multiple people. So, oh, okay. But if you even two two people, it's still doable. Probably like once a month, maybe maybe twice. But like with like oh. groups of like three or four, it's it's very affor- affordable. Okay, so it's outdoor. I thought it was indoor. I thought uh, it must be. It can still be outdoor, I guess, but it still needs to have the. It has to be caged. So. I'm Gosh, assuming that's why it does look like cages. Is there's an indoor one here? That's why I'm oh here we go. There's a bunch of Vaughn. 
There's mm. the Toronto one that you go to. Oh, that's it. There's only two in the GTA. Wow. It's, it's like a new sport, like pickleball, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I got to look into it a bit more. And oh, see they have like a Paddle Ontario website. I'm on that now. It's nice. uh, If that's like... Oh, this is places we've been. Okay, so y'all aren't the like... The be all and end all of this shit. Anyway, I have to look into it. Interesting. Interesting. So that is cool. Uh, paddle tennis gang. And then the other thing, I got... Um, <laughs> My latest shipment of Yeezys. I got some interesting ones that oh, I hadn't had before. This one's fun. It's 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 great, and they felt they feel good when you get a win. Oh, I love a deal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love a good mm-hmm. deal, mate. Love I got the deal. um the knit runners. Oh, that that is oh, really nice. My God, it's kind of like a clog, no? That's pretty smart. I like it. Yeah, and they're really comfy. I haven't worn them out yet, but wow, pretty cool, huh? What do they run? Uh, they retail is probably like. Not close to three, but I got them for probably like ninety. So oh, they're inside know. fucking sleepy dips. No, no, they're yeah, outdoors. They, the outdoors, right? Yeah, these are like thick and hard poles. Outdoor shoes, and they have fluff on the top. It's not fluff. It's like a like a Velvet. like a canvas almost, almost yeah, like sweet. a like and a com- no, like a converse sort of thing, but a little nicer. It's like rough cotton or something. That like looks very nice. Yeah. Dude. So these ones, I wouldn't have probably bought these uh, full price. But um, mm, they look happy to try them. Ninety bucks look pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I mean, all the good sizes sold pretty quick, unfortunately. And then, where's this other one? I got these are the seven hundred V threes. Never were available to order. But those them. are cool. Those ones are pretty sick. So I haven't yeah, had. They're pretty fucking tight, but um, mm. they they're pretty sweet. They're I, I would have preferred one of the different colors, but beggars can't oh, be yellow, yellow, koala. You mix two of them. I like that. Right, yeah, it was great. Anyway, pretty fire. And there's a couple others. I got some other 380s and another. There's one called 700 minivans, but I'm wearing them now. They're they're comfy. So nice. the drip is on point. And then mm-hmm. what banana. Else? banana. Oh fuck, my the banana is kind of going. And then the other thing I had. Oh yeah, today. So we went to America the other week. I talked about. Next week we're going to America again. We're doing Cincinnati, Atlanta, Savannah. Richmond and Pittsburgh. We ask New York is too expensive. Mm. New York is like because it's uh it ends up being Labor Day weekend. We're like, Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. We're just gonna push it and go later. So Tough. I'll just come home. That's right. I get to go to Pittsburgh. I've always wanted to go there. Um mm. and now they changed the dog rule. So that'll be a fun trip trying to find a bunch of breweries and shit. Mm-hmm. But so, the, mm-hmm. well, I need to need some cities are like whatever, I'll figure it out it's easy. But the uh they changed the dog rule. So apparently they did this psycho dog rule change and then Canada pushed back so hard on it that now you have to before you did nothing at all. You, technically the that was supposed to be up to date with rabies vaccine, but no of none of the uh customs people even acknowledge him in the car at all. They just sort of like sometimes he's on Tiff's lap or sometimes in the back and they're just like put the window down they don't say shit so now you had to fill out a form super easy and the form lasts six months so it's kind of like the dumbass australian stuff you have to do when you visit the states and you got to get this little white thing stapled in when you're an aussie mm-hmm. citizen and uh we have to get microchips so today we took and got in microchips which we didn't want to do now because uh, it's this big ass like n- like really thick needle paws and they numb it and I'm like, Tiff's holding him because he was going, he always just gets nervous at the vet. And I'm like feeding him treats. And then it's like, they just kind of like stab it in and push it under the skin. So mm. he, he was good. He was a thug. Didn't cry. Didn't do nothing aside from go spazzing, but he just spazzes in the vets anyway. So he was a G. Yeah. So man's is microchipped up. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. That's, nice. that's not cool. Shouldn't we oh, all yeah. just get, you say not cool? Yeah, that's not cool. I, well, I, I'm not against microchipping animals. So. For the obvious, so you can find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I, uh, I don't like being forced to do it. Like we wouldn't have done it now. We when we get him snipped, we we're just gonna do it then because he's under and mm. we've had any pain. Um, but he was fine, so it worked out okay. I, I don't like him just telling you to do it. I just thought I didn't. We didn't realize that that was still a thing. They they took away all the other ones. I don't even remember what the other regulations were, except they kept the microchip and this little form. So a little bit shit, but he did good. He did good. He's a goat. Yes. So that was mm-hmm. that was fun. I don't really have any other updates from here. So that was was guaning. Nice. So right up. how's about we have a little peek through the old TMF uh, album of the week, shall we? What mm-hmm. do you reckon? And is this the last one? 
No, we have two more. Oh, we have two more. We have two more, and I can just tell you hey. how to make it easier. So the there's this one, which is my last solo album called Relentless. So this was mm -hmm. 2021. The mm -hmm. one we did last week with By Toxic City Volume One, which was 2020. In mm -hmm. 2022, uh, I dropped both Relentless Deluxe and By Toxic City Volume Two. Okay. So okay, I figured okay. we'd do it separately because that's what we we're supposed to do. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, so this album, my, so my second solo album, uh, that wasn't like a co, you know, I could collab with somebody. I typically, mm -hmm. collab with cunts. um, yeah, it came out October, 2021. We dropped three videos or two. No, I think we dropped three singles, two videos before the album. Um, mm -hmm. I got a grant for it, one of the factor grants. So that made it, nice. uh, it, it was the first time we'd like put money into shit. We never put money into anything before. So uh the champion josh telfer who has been on the pod he did this cover out so what he did he went to the woods mm -hmm. found a tree stump that r is the relentless r and he he hand drew that he he just like scribbled on a whole bunch of things and i picked the one i liked the most so then he chiseled it into the log put the got a friend to drive up put the log in their car and then took it to their house and then set it on fire and then took photos wow so it was a pretty it's intense thick. Yeah, I hadn't actually looked at this in a while. And he did, and unfortunately oh. I wanted to keep it, but Beautiful because place. you would have had to put like water and all this stuff on it overnight, it ended up burning up. Um, mm -hmm. which is fine. Mm -hmm. no big deal. But yeah, cover's pretty sick. Um, this project was all produced by Maya Clarity, who's who we've also had on the pod. Um, he is a dope MC Ebet producer as well, originally from Montreal, but he's been in Toronto for 10 years, I think now. So um, we did this album from 2019 to 2015 to 2017. So was, we started it and then I did, I stopped and then I did the Be Better project with 76 and then did the um, Bad Habits project with Poe. So I mm. kind of paused it, finished those two albums, then went back to it. Uh, then we recorded it over a week. So yeah, no, me, no, Tiff, um, Maya were in the studio all week with the engineer, Josh. And then we just had people come in like singers, saxophone, um, uh, cello, violin, drums, guitar, like everybody just come through backing singers and people doing choruses and whatever. So we just got it all laced in a week. It was the first time any of us had uh, done any of that, like actually booked a studio for a week, gone there for 10 hours every day type shit to record. And it was super sick. Um, mm. So the album, we we're trying to get it as short as possible. I couldn't get it any. We did 17 songs total. So we got it to 12 for this. And on the deluxe version, there's five bonus songs. Nice. So essentially it's like, it was the first project we've ever done, I think, in TMF that had no samples. Everything we've ever done had like the you know samples that you would have had to clear, but we never did, mm. um, which made things difficult if you wanted to do anything with it. So uh, we did that this way. Um, yeah, man, pretty proud of it all. I, I don't know what to say. The vibes are pretty like all over the place. There's like you know some trappy shit that I got next is kind of like a typical new uh, trap kind of vibe um like cloud rap trap shit you know there's like hard guitar and like tough drums on stay woke there's reggae like justice prevail did a few interludes like melbourne toronto and in uh and montreal air airport codes just being telling the story of where we'd lived and stuff did some girl tracks with her name's the black lotus now but she used to go by andrina mill who worked with drake on the first mixtape comeback season she did um closer to my dreams everyone seems to know and um the last hope she is fucking awesome uh, we had no of course on a couple joints on I Got Next and uh, on Too Hung Over Here, sure. which is a slapper. That was the only one I think we wrote from scratch in the studio, if I'm not mistaken. That's true. Yeah. Because everything else was pre done. And Dave Archer, who's phenomenal, she came through, uh, laced the wheel, wrote the chorus together and all her parts and stuff. And she's great vibe. Um, yeah, the title track with Jonathan Emil comes through. I love when Johnny's done a couple of my title tracks before. So it made sense to get him on that and he killed it um tiffany blue was supposed to be like the like uh what's his name uh bob is someone that clarity loves so he wanted to do one of those like kind of radio singles like early 2000s vibes so it's kind of like that type of shit and um <clears throat> there's a lot of songs called survivor so it's kind of about dad and bonfire is dan from Lalo, who's been on the um the pod a few times 
he's a fucking legend and he took that song to another level he really worked out a uh, fun fact about that one it was originally called quab's beat because i wanted quabs on it who's a singer from london when i hit him up i was a little offended i understand because i guess we didn't have a name but i hit up and his manager said declined it being on the song so i was a bit disappointed whatever because we made the song with his voice in mind but it's fine worked out great but i come to find out later that he completely lost his voice like he can't he, he, to this day he still can't sing I don't know wow. why. Yeah, that's fucked tragic. up. I did all these posts. Oh. Fucking horrible, man. So, um, yeah, that's basically the album. Nice little, you know, vibes, like, you know, soulful. Our, kind of a mix of all the shit that I'm into. And I felt like... Big mix, it. yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would you kind of reckon? Yeah, I really like this one. So this one is well similar to um, uh, Bi Toxic C. It kind of encapsulates, like, a time period. And this was also the first... This is the first TMF tape that I was kind of somewhat involved in. Yes. So I was like in videos and shit, and I was there for a lot of BTS for some of this shit. So it was really cool and brings back a lot of the memories of living in Montreal and doing a lot of this stuff. So that was super cool. And listening to it again, it's such an interesting tape because you can, to me, I hear influences from certain artists and like, for example, like I like the, the, the intro track is it, to me, that's very much an intro track mm. and it's also very dark. And I think the project itself starts off dark and then picks up when mm. he gets to stay woke, let justice prevail. And then, yeah, a lot of them, it, like you said, it is kind of all over the place, but I think at the same time makes sense. But like, um, I really like. so I remember last week I was saying, um, What's the track on by Toxic City? The Mama? Kanye. Yes. So yeah. I like that one a lot, but I think Stay Woke might be my favorite one. Interesting. So I really like this one. And uh, this is the Lil Yachty diss track and the Kodak Black diss track, yeah. which is quite funny. And it's uh, called Stay Woke because if people don't know, she's very woke, very <laughs> PC. And yeah. uh, it's really encapsulated, what's, like, encapsulated what he's like as an individual. It's really cool. I like to see that. Um, you got blue hair. Yeah. yeah, he's he's got blue hair. Goes goes to therapy every week. Um, <laughs> wow. Um, but no, I, I I like this project a lot. And uh, do what I really like as well the M E L and Y Y Z. Mm. That those interludes really remind me of like how like Tyler the Creator done interludes on his older projects, like on Wolf for example. And it'll be a very different vibe to every single other track. Mm. But it'll just kind of be like a minute of him just riffing or just doing whatever he wants. Just like doing whatever he wants for like a minute and it'll just be so off brand for that specific tape but it, it still works it still works at the same time mm. but i i find that with mel and yyz a lot um in terms of other songs i really like survivor i i'm really glad bonfire is on that because it's yeah, so good i think that was my first song that i heard from this tape so mm. it, it was really good so yeah, I love this tape, man. This tape oh, yeah. really yeah, brings up memories. Yeah, you in every video waving the flag, get that big relentless flag, which is mm. sick. I should actually have it mm -hmm. out here for the pod somewhere. Mm -hmm. It was uh, cool to have you in that as like get you involved because you were all having the meetings every week. We were talking about I forgot about that. We were talking about just all the things that needed to be done, mixes because Nosh was handling the mixes. Clarity was helping it for a bit at the beginning, and then I think Nosh did most of it. Dolo. But we all kind of like contributed ideas to the the videos, and we went up to Tower of Vier with John's family, uh, mm -hmm. shot it there. Um, we did the downtown Montreal one with I Got Next, and we did stay work at this cool like I don't know what, what would you call it like a studio, I guess, in Montreal. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it would just be like a white a studio film place, like studio. A, I don't know yeah. how you'd even describe it, but yeah, so that was it sick. Is. And had uh, so Nosh wasn't there for those just because this was like balls deep COVID and yeah. uh, tons of rules. Everything was like annoying. Like you had to wear masks inside and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was cool to do that. And the woke thing where you mentioned, I forgot about that. So we were running ads, obviously, uh, on this album when we got it. And then we kept getting people commenting angry about the woke thing. And I was just <laughs> like, what? Like, do you really think that's what I'm saying? Like, listen to it i'm saying what like the people who were saying it like i'm not supporting what like it's like that that uh, whoever called that ideology woke took it from like black culture which just meant be aware be awake of like what's going on just like i took it from um what's the joint redbone childish gambino 
right mm. that's what inspired that specific i just thought it was so cool i was like yeah i should do that that could be like a sick hook but i'll do it in a totally different way than he did that was mm -hmm. where that came from and it was just funny to see people get like like i'm like yo man i'm telling you the same thing don't trust the government i'm not saying like <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, anyway. it was pretty funny that yeah. people get so worked up and that was when before i really understood I don't think that word was as like popularized in that way yet. Not in this context, no. Yeah, yeah, in well, the previous context where it's like yeah. truth rap. Truth yeah. rap is woke. Yeah. Not uh being extremely PC. That's no, not woke. It is you know? not. It is annoying that that word now is being assigned to that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you can't but, uh, yeah. do you still want to slash Lil Yachty with a razor and catch Kodak Black with our bodyguard? Do you still Kodak for sure? Yachty, I'm not mad at. I'd rather sit him down and be like, just get a job. Don't rap. go do something. <laughs> wow. Fun. Get wow. paint. You probably got enough money now. Just put it in one of those things. Live off the the income, off your, uh, we call it like the residual, off the interest and shit. And just go and paint and just don't bother people's ears. You know, I just say, just wow. you seem like a nice enough guy. Just, you know. This is your message to Lou Yachty. Just hang out yeah. with Aubrey and just, you know. Well, I mean. Dolls. You could hang out with Aubrey, I guess, if you wanted to, if you insist. But uh, you know, you don't have to. You could go and do construct, go build yeah. houses in Rwanda or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have nothing constructive to say to Kodak. I would, um, I would say, stop, stop taking drugs. Stop yeah, I don't understand drug. anything you say ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh you're not particularly good at making music sir and and uh, just with yachty maybe you should take your money and stop being a, a dick and getting arrested all the time and just you know go contribute give back give back a little bit you know and just mm -hmm. go chill mm -hmm. you don't need to be rapping you're fine you're fine your message to kodak yeah. nice nice you're good. nice nice uh love it no right. sorry we're yapping well 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 uh Relentlessly, what an album. It's a fucking banger. Uh, pleasure to be part of it. Grateful for the experience. Uh, being in the studio for the week with everyone, being, you know, all up on the engineer desk recording with, uh, is it Matt? No, what's his name? Uh, Josh. Josh, wow. Bad, racist. Bad, Matt. Racist. racist. Yeah, sure. All white yeah. guys are named Matt. It was, if you if it was in craft beer, you'd be 90% correct. Bang right? on. Bang on. <laughs> yeah, Josh was great. Mm -hmm. uh, sorted it out. Just, you know, I learned a little bit just like as far as miking up drums and like miking up certain instruments. You hadn't had that much experience with that just on basic shit. So that was cool. Um, just working with Maya and editing the beats and getting everything together. It was just like a, it's a big fucking project because he had a lot of things and a lot of elements in all of his beats and all of his sessions. So there was a lot of editing, a lot of uh, mixed stages and revisions. And at this particular point in my engineering curve, like, you know, still very good, but like needed some like, is this cool? Is this cool? Kind of like that. So, took a while. There was a lot of versions of a lot of songs, but um, you know, fuck, we got there. Uh, as far as the album uh, tracks go and the curve and shit, like I, I agree with what Dan said. Like it kind of starts off kind of emotional and a bit like intense and a bit charged and stuff like that, and then mm. um, it kind of lets up. Like the interludes do break up the mood and like the curve of how mm. uh, things go. So. I know that's on purpose and like you know sees the best with doing like track orders and stuff so that just really worked really nice and uh yeah like i sat on my couch and listened to it through the imax speakers i didn't put it through the big dogs and like i'm still very happy with how it all sounds it's nice um but we probably could do like a you know a 25th year anniversary remaster job <laughs> yo <laughs> so i'll be down for that even in five like five or ten yeah whatever we'll see, we'll see. It spends on my but, uh, but yeah, great, great features. Um, very emotional tracks. I get goosebumps on a lot of them. Um, very proud of my uh, rapping parts as well. And just uh, yeah, it's a, just like wrapping it up with the uh, oh sorry, the middle parts nice and light. It's a lot lighter and a lot happier, and a bit more vibey and up tempo. And then uh, you know gets into the like the, the the poppy Tiffany blue, and then ends on an absolute you know emotional heater from uh, from Survivor. So that's. Definitely stand out for me, like let Joshua prevail, too hungover. Um, I got next. Yeah, there's so many, so many good ones. So yeah. Yeah. I totally mm -hmm. forgot about the dark shit of it. You guys were both right on that. Like, I think that was the intention, if I'm not mistaken. I think I went into it being like all the stuff we typically have made priors is like more upbeat, um, bright, soul soulful shit for the most part, like soul samples or whatever. 
Mm-hmm. So it was like, all right, if I'm gonna do this type of album, might as well be fucking mad different. Mm. Um, and switch it up and just be crazy dark. And yeah, I guess everything is kind of dark until that basically let justice prevail is sort of, and then the MEL interlude is pretty, is pretty bright. And then it kind of keeps going up and comes back down a little bit towards the end, but not as heavily. Yeah. 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 So, and I started listening to some of the deluxe tracks and they're a little dark too. So I was like, okay, there's definitely like an intention to do a lot more dark. I think just at the time, like I just got over doing the same shit. I wanted to do something totally different yeah right Mm. it definitely was i mean i I, I, the only thing in hindsight i wish we had just finished it and put it out earlier really uh even if i didn't have the money to do it properly and stuff it would have just been like fresher i guess it's just because i was doing too much too much at once that was the problem it's too much at once and i had to choose what to do and this felt like i wanted it so desperately to be perfect that like it made it harder to get started because I tapped on no 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 just finish this bad habits thing can you just do that first then we'll do and I, 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 I was on me I kept putting it off because I was like I just didn't want to like move on and I knew it was such a big going to be a huge job but I just so desperately wanted money and at the time we weren't we weren't rolling in it by any means so it was like after COVID and I got the the grant finally after applying like five times I only got two grand but it helped with the videos to we spend all that on videos paying cunts blah 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 so yeah it's cool it's cool so happy with this album it's nice to go back and listen to it I feel like I've heard it all so much so kind of like go into it it almost just feels like oh man I mean I, the only person who's heard this more than me is Nosh like obviously you've heard it for mm. mixing it Mm-hmm. but it was so nice to come back and try and like just li- i listened to i went to a couple breweries on friday so it was like you know after a drink you still find to drive but you're a little like amped so i put it on the car and i was cruising around i was like yeah yeah it was uh-huh. that kind of mm-hmm. so, yeah good times so link for mm-hmm. relentless is in the description of youtube and on um the the what's it called or the podcast uh wherever you find it um yeah grab it download it buy it uh, listen to it, stream it, tell your mom. Okay, tell dog up to it. Okay, dog mm-hmm. up you. Yeah, it's the move. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all right. And so, yeah, that with that said, there's only two more of these to go, and then we're going to wrap the series up. So, by and then what do we do? Well, the idea of doing this, well, I guess that's just done because the idea of I think we go back to the first project and do yeah, it all again. again. It's one more weird. time one more time <laughs> just for old time's sake let's do it i was trying to see if we wanted to rap again that was the point to want mm-hmm. to look the whole catalog to be like do we want to continue rapping and i guess yeah why not like fuck it who cares i don't care do it i'll just do, do it. it i don't care about the uh outcome do know? it make a song with lil yachty i'll do two i'll do an album with him you should you know joint album that'd be sick with kodak black three of us mm-hmm. maybe not him Maybe, maybe not. No, no, no. no. no three best good. mates. So it's going to be cool. Good, three best mates. Three, three, best three mates. mates. Three mates. Ah, you fucking oh. dildos. All right, let's talk about some dumb shit. So, the greatest shit ever this week that's been really, when I say this week, probably just the last couple of days, the Aussie breakdancer at the Olympics. Oh, Olympic my World. God. What is Great that, man? man? What is that? Can you if show you it? Wanna, what she, oh. I think we probably can, eh? Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Should I play? I want to play the one. I'm gonna find it. And I think this is the one where the guy's doing the commentary, and it's fucking hilarious. Like it kills me. Um, which chat did I send it to y'all? The guy who was like, he goes from the kangaroo hop bam to the matrix, like that one. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I don't know if you sent that to me. I don't know. Oh <laughs> fuck. Okay, I think. Oh I fuck. To... No, I posted in stories like a mad cunt. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And Matt, and they're gonna go to archive. Mad people responded. We're like, "What is she doing? What happened?" <laughs> that for gonna, real? Yeah, mm. I'm just gonna have to show you all this for people who haven't seen it. Like, in the uh, here it is. That's the cunt. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, hold up. Shh, shh, shh. I'm gonna send it. So, um, basically, the Olympics are on, and break dancing is in uh, the Olympics for the first time. Mm-hmm. And, and, and last time, right? But they're not doing it again. Right. I can see why not. I don't like, think they actually are. I don't. I, I actually don't think they are. Okay, then they probably shouldn't do it again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So wait, if I go like this, absolutely. Yeah, we no. can hear it. Meet Rachel Gunn, aka Ray Gunn, the top Australian break dancer who competed in the Olympics and went mega viral with her absolutely ridiculous performance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
probably going to get copyright back to that. Here we go, Ray Gun. Here we go, Ray Gun is right. If you took all <laughs> the funniest lines on the planet Earth and put them in a room and asked them to come up with the funniest script imaginable, they wouldn't even come remotely close to the unintentional comedy of Ray Gunn, the 36-year-old who has a PhD in breakdancing, who's Australia's top breakdancing <laughs> girl at the Olympics. Man, I the genuinely didn't think this was real. When she starts flopping around on the deck like a fish out of water, I thought this is not the actual competition. This is a comedic bit. She's like a host <laughs> before the actual competition. Hold now, as I said, she has a PhD <laughs> in breakdancing. I don't know what that means either. This cannot be real. This is a bit. This is not real. Tim Robinson is about to pop out and be like, gotcha. We 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 did a behind the scenes thing where we snuck someone into the Olympics because breakdancing is a joke. Now, I will say, pointing to the Australian logo and then hitting them with the kangaroo oh, hop and then bang, God. Matrix, fire, <laughs> fire. And then the windmill move, dude, into the legs. This is straight up Napoleon Dynamite in real life at the Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, in Rachel. It's so Rebel. bad. My it's so God. bad. It's, it's so the bad. best. I don't no, but do you know what else makes me not think it's real, yeah? Talk what is that? Why, what's the song? The song that she's playing in the background. What was it? I was so distracted. I had no idea. Yeah. If you listen to it, it sounds like a fucking Crash Bandicoot intro, like, song. Oh, or something you hear from, yeah, it's what you hear from fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it's so bad. Like, it's, it's not hip-hop. It's not... Like, it's fucking awful. That song, I don't understand the music choice. It's, that's what also makes you think it's a comedic bit. Like, it's awful. Yeah, that's fair. I'm trying to... It's pretty crazy. I'm just seeing if there's anyone saying it here. No one's really saying that. But, like, I, I genuinely believe that I think she's serious. No. No. I don't think so at all. No. The She said... I saw a quote from her. And it said, like, I uh, I was, you know, I, I know I couldn't beat all these other people. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go out there and be different and do the best I can and do something, be a bit unique or whatever. So she, I think she's like a part of the breakdancing community. I, I don't know if she can do it, any of the moves properly. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that she did that, and I don't think anyone would have, how did she expect anyone to react? Like, you you should react like, exactly like this there's no rhythm no flow there's no like it doesn't look right it looks it looks genuinely like a kid just trying out something what what were the judges thinking how the fuck did they score it like that i think they gave a zero zero she had zero she gave a zero perfect yeah. So yeah. I she think it's an absolute nuffy and she's like got something that's gonna screw loose. Must do it's <sighs> very weird. Must and like do. if she's for usually, real, she's, she's off for chops. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> like usually when stuff like this happens and then someone gets a mad hate, you usually see people on Twitter like, no, no, she this person's actually good at this thing. Look at this other performance they've done here. I've not seen a single one. Not no, seen a single one. Nothing. It's awful, it's a disgrace. It is. It's, it's so really bad. embarrassing because breakdancing is an incredible sport that we know a bunch of people who are very good at it. Excuse yeah. me, and it's very oh, difficult. Shit. It's not an easy sport to to do. Like it's it's very particular. It's got like fifty years of history and shit. Now you know, hip hop turned fifty last year, so it's like it it just doesn't make any <clears> sense. How one if there's any qualifiers? Like how did she get past the qualifiers in her own country before <laughs> even going to the Olympic side? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because you had to qualify to get into the thing. So that yeah. means, right? and I'd seen also quotes from the whoever the person who's in charge of the whole team say, like, she's a really important voice in the breakdancing community, which she what? means a lot. She's a sweetheart, she's very talented, and da-da-da. Like, and she does not deserve the hate. The main thing they say is she doesn't deserve the hate. No one said, Hey, check her, like you, you're right there. No one at, as at all said, Yo, no, trust me, fam. Like, she was fucking around, but like I've seen her like slay people. Like, mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. think she can no, I, I don't think she has those abilities so it's like and the, and the I, I think she owes too. everyone a motherfucking apology bro it's kind of offensive to hip-hop no she owes like every black person in the world and every dancer in the world and hip-hop lover in the world an apology yeah. for that monstrosity the creators of hip-hop deserve 
uh, uh, written. She has no it's business so doing bad. such a thing. That's it's so that's, bad. It's like someone pretending they can do sign language at a concert and there's fucking really yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, yeah. Yeah. And just doing like double dick signs and like you know whatever. Yeah, yeah. Hot, like, uh, pepper, what's the thing with that? <laughs> the pepper, the, the the wrestler one where he's working the balls. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> he points favorite. to the crowd. He makes sure he's in front of the camera. Points to the crowd. He goes, "Yeah." Dicks. Any like dick content here for oh, it? Oh, so funny, I, funny. I had when I shared them to stories. I had so many people respond. I was actually really surprised, like how many people were like, "What's going on with that?" Like they made them wear like the outfit. They look like cricketers or something. Like they, they look, look like cricketers. Uh, yeah. It's like warm up, warm up jersey and pants for cricketers. That's a good point. They really yeah. look like cricket. It's I I'm understand. in the Red Rocket still, but were you guys not better than her dancing? Couldn't you have gone to? The oh, I or something? probably can do. I, I, more like more scorable. I'll probably get a high. You guys could have gone. You, like on paper, we've seen people break dance, so you probably could try. Probably just like wing it, you know? Wing it, and we could just be like, just yes, wing it. Would have been just, better I'll than just that. Call, uh, I'll just call fluid, fluidity, yep. and I'll be like, hey, man, can you just like give me like a one, two on Real quick stuff? Maybe I'll watch a few YouTubes and just give yeah. the boys a call. Yeah, 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 the boys from Montreal are cool. Oh, yeah, these guys are sick cunts in a yeah, video. Man. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. I hate break dancing. I hate, well, I hate even good break dancing. It's awful. You what? even like hip hop. You hate hip hop. It's, it's so corny. I'm sorry. Why do you hate hip hop? Wow, break dancing. Yeah, I, hate I hate hip hop. I hate hip hop. How long have you hated hip hop? Uh, since I was born, the I hate hip hop. I, I hate. I hate hip hop. What did hip hop ever do to you? It's. Uh, it, I hate hip hop. That there explains a lot. That's why you like pop. That's why you like Drake. That's why I like pop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't disappoint mm -hmm. everybody. Just I like hate that stupid break dancer. Mm -hmm. I hate break dancing so much. Well, you're it. you're about as good as Ray Gun right now. So watch your mouth. Um, you're both related to Raygun. You know that, right? I wish. Oh, you man. are. So you actually are. Listen, you know see, that's going to be the clip. She's, yeah. she's not our mate at all. <laughs> I, no. I hate breakdancing. I, I don't think anyone. I think people in the comments will align with me. I I actually hate breakdancing. It's terrible. Why do you hate it? It's so corny. It's so corny. It's so. I don't want to. I don't want to see people dance, man. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Not. I, I like. Trolling? I like people dancing. I like people dancing. Don't get me wrong. I hate break dancing. I don't want to see the. Ugh, I don't want to see shit like that, man. It's <laughs> fucking corny as fuck. Oh, I Damn. hate it. I People are gonna it. come for you in the comments, dude. Pause. They're not gonna do. They're not gonna come for me because they're gonna agree with me. This is the one thing me and the people can align. <laughs> they can align. Mate. Break dancing is shit. And the Drake <laughs> it's so is shit. Make sure right. you target on your noggin. Oh, it's over for you. Speaking of pop and Drake, so mm. now the Wayne accusations of him, like betraying drake somehow or being mad at drake keep ramping up is uh do we know much about this because i only saw a little bit of it early mm. and oh so he he shared something to do with the weekend he did something he was wearing an exo chain and did this video or something and then weekend shared it or something which is odd move like if i did a song with someone knows that you like i hate it like you got beef with hmm. like and i went and did a song with them and we're both posting it on social but we're in the same squad like you'd be like, hey, bro, what are you doing? Like, uh, wouldn't there'll, there'll be discussions? Th there'd be discussions, and we'd have a problem. Um, wouldn't that be? It, it, wouldn't that be fair? Like, it's unless hot. it was, unless it was old, perhaps like pre beef thing, maybe. Could have have to I don't team, know, but that's like a pretty, like it's pretty crazy, dude. I think people want them to be and uh, like, why would people want Drake and Wayne to beef? Like, that's silly. Uh, people, people want the want movie to, to keep on, going. Um, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I guess and it's that's something. what it is. And if Kendrick's quiet and now, just working on his album, then they're like, all right, he's gonna yeah, be for somebody. Ghosting, yeah. I don't think I don't oh, think he's oh, God, I don't think he's such an <laughs> F word. <laughs> no, you need to understand, yeah. You can't hate on Drake at this point. What's the point in doing all this beef shit uh -huh. and then going quiet? You're just you're, you're, you're what quiet. has Kendrick done since two thousand and nine when he had this bitch jumping? What has he done since then? He comes in 
puts some shit out, and then fucking disappears for five years, and then comes back. Yeah, he's, not the, he's not feeding the street. He's never been he's a street feeder. feeder. He's not he's Thanksgiving, not giving away Thanksgiving turkeys. Bro. <laughs> not, he's not street, delivering he's not a, street a, a warm, cooked, not. nourishing meal once he's every not. two to Mr. five. Morales, years. Mr. Morales, Mr. Morales, classic. that was that classic. was warm. It's a classic, classic. If that's a classic, classic to you, I'm very sorry for you. I'm very sorry for you, my friend. I'm very sorry. That's a classic. Then, and, I don't know why I'm arguing for Kendrick like I care. <laughs> very, very sorry. I'm just saying you can't compare. He's not trying to feed the streets like Drake's B-roll jump, which we'll talk about in a second. It's he very different. <laughs> no, yeah, he 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 doesn't. The, the streets are very hungry if they're calling on Kendrick. That's all I'm saying. They're, they they're very fucking on hungry. Kendrick. Uh, man said you want to Who's they? they? Who's it's like they? you're pretending for the last 15 years it didn't happen. Like, like Who's people they? Were always eh, like hip hop fans, real rap yeah. fans. You don't like rap. You just spent five minutes telling us why you don't like rap. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I hate rap. I hate rap. You hate hip hop. Yeah, I, I, you hate hip hop. You hate the culture. Yeah, yeah. You hate the Jamaicans that made it. Yes, exactly, African Americans exactly. and the Puerto Ricans who mm -hmm. perfected it yes, and brought everything, the exactly. best parts of some of the coolest mm -hmm, shit mm -hmm. into the world. Of course, of course, of course. Disrespectful immigrant. You're related to Rachel Gunn. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> now what? Hey, imagine if we did 23 and me. It was like Rachel. Oh Gunn. my god, that would Auntie. be so good. Yes, or that's first so cousin good. four times removed or some shit. Yeah, be amazing. Wow. Oh my um, god. What Gentlemen. were we talking about before Dan started being a dickhead? Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't uh, oh Lil Wayne. Wayne, Lil Wayne. Oh, anyway, I guess yeah. I, I don't think there's beef personally. I, I hope know. not. I okay, so. so then on that, you don't think there's beef? And then I just saw someone, I didn't put this in here, maybe you did, Dan, but Drake and LeBron mm -hmm. uh, having some drama. Yeah, so you know how they were like friends, they were friend friends. Like, yeah, yeah. Friends. They're just, it just seems happen, like. Yeah? Because oh, sorry, of... there was an event or something that LeBron was there. And he... so, what was yeah, the yeah, yeah. So the pop out event. Have you heard of that? The Kendrick concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was there. Have I? Heard he was of there. It? Yeah, Have when Kendrick was feeding yeah. the streets. Because sorry, the streets were being fed that day. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one time he's probably ever fed the streets. And then because he because um... his meals are so nourishing, he doesn't have to keep coming back. Drake's candy. Drake's giving <laughs> you a hot dog and a fucking Slurpee. <laughs> Like Kendrick's yes, giving yeah. you like uh, mm -hmm. roasted chicken and vegetables and gravy mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. potatoes. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Nutritional yeast that keeps you it's full just... for three to right. five years. Whereas Drake comes in there, it's like Chinese food. You eat it and you're like, fuck, I'm hungry now or later. That's Drake because you keep needing wow. more because it's candy. It's bubble mm -hmm. gum. It's fucking mm -hmm. C&E can cotton candy. It's fucking, mm -hmm. do you know what? Funnily enough, cotton candy was, I learned this in Nashville. It mm -hmm. was originally called fairy floss. It was invented by a dentist to keep kids getting cavities and then because something happened and they called it cotton cat there was something i don't think people were liking the name of it or something it wasn't really working so then they called it cotton candy because kids were saying that's what it looked like and then oh. i told the tour guide they call it fairy floss in australia still fun fact so i hope she's dropping that oh yeah. they call it fairy fluff in australia yeah what do they call it in england fairy floss um cotton candy i think no candy floss candy floss I think so. A bit of a mix of the two. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Anyway, that's what Drake's doing. Drake's not feeding the streets. Drake's giving the streets cavities. Kendrick um, feeding the streets full bellies, nutrients, nutrients, <laughs> nutrients, nutrients. <laughs> nutrients. <laughs> nutrients. See, nu I'm it's so woke to nutrients. say the word different. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, true, I was about true. to rap. I was about to rap. Ten, uh, ten steps ahead. Ten. So I'm um, seeing every time. Yeah, him and LeBron because of the, because of the whole, I guess. It seemed like he was very much Team Kendrick, although he is he was meant to be Drake's friend. And you see a lot of people who were obviously a, like aligned with Drake didn't really say much during the whole thing. Mm. Like maybe they done the Kais and that and they listened to it, and that's it. That's all you'd really see. But like LeBron was like <laughs> like backing almost. It seemed like he was backing Kendrick without saying anything bad about Drake. Yeah, I see that. So it was kind of like it was very flaky, very wishy washy kind of behavior. And like Drake's very petty. So he really doesn't like him, it seems. And Wasn't like something more recent, though, like the luck like after the pop out event. Uh, yeah, in the Olympics, I saw after the Team USA won, um, he fucking shouted out Steph, Jason Tatum, and someone else, but didn't shout out LeBron, who was the best player in the whole tournament. And... Oh, Drake did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's that. And then there's something else. Something else happened. But, like, yeah, they, he doesn't seem to be a big fan of him right mm -hmm. now, which is interesting because they were boys. Cavities. 
Mm, allegedly, <laughs> yep. The goat giving people cavities. Yeah, that's right. the goat. <laughs> you mean the sheep? So he mm-hmm. also <laughs> had been, yeah, like I guess giving giving him props. I'm only giving him shit because it's fun to piss you off. But like he seemed. Do I say he, Drake? Uh, Sir's concert cancelled. Schoolboy Q concert. Sorry, in Toronto, cancelled. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, he has something to do with it. I just don't think that. It's impossible for him not to. He had to have it. Like he had to. Yeah, yeah. They to. weren't massive shows, so I don't think it was anyone no. losing enough money for it to no. be a negative impact. But mm. uh, the you you just told us beforehand that the future Metro Boomin um, show went off, and it actually happened. They did like that without Kendrick's verse, it, unless mm-hmm. they were playing other people's verses, and they future just rapped over him or something. Um, Maybe. Where was that gig at? Was that Scotia? I, I think it's Scotia. I was, I was looking for tickets. I think it's Scotia. That'd be harder, a lot harder to get cancelled, I think. Because I think oh, yeah. Sir and Schoolboy were both at history. And that's his venue. So oh, had, that's probably more. Oh, pool. then of course. Yeah, he'd have more pull. Way to be pool. like, as, it's not happening, guys. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Right, and cool. I'm not mad at him for that. I think that's petty. And I uh, applaud. I'm petty. here for it. It's I hilarious. Love it. I love it. He, 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 was quite, he said one of his lines was, <laughs> um, I've got enough pull to make the city start throwing games. Okay, so it's true. It's fact. I mean, he probably does. I don't know. I don't know fact. if he still does, but I guess if he's able to get those shows, like in, the I last think he month, does. I don't think anyone good. really cares anymore. I think he does. Had, yeah, I don't know. He you saw the party next door, the party next door concert where he came out. Yeah, we talked about it last week. I think. Yeah, very um, big reception. Yeah, which is good. I'd be surprised mm-hmm. if it was was not. It doesn't, you know. And it's also his own artist, and then he announced that they're doing the album together. So like, it's a warm crowd, you know. Warm. Um, it's pretty okay. warm. I said sure. Warm crowd. It's a warm crowd. You know? I don't think Kendrick's really done much in a long time, to be honest. I'm trying to even think. What do you do? You know, uh, Kendrick, the like, only way. The only thing. Yeah, has, yeah. Yes, that's what that he has to do. Oh, he has to play it multiple times. He has to do. He has to play the one single multiple times. This really proves that he's really just got that one. He forgot about the hour it. before then. Of music that he did, which was just, a, 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 a so I think everyone has also forgot because I've never heard anyone really talk about it. I only hear people talk about non stop. No, just the not like us part, nothing else. I don't think anyone really cared about the whole. Else. Well, because that was the that was the highlight. What are you going to do? Talk about just the the middle. I part saw like I saw that? tweets of people saying Drake can at least get a crowd of people to cheer for him without having to play a diss. So it's okay. No, you get in that. That's it. Ca- it kind of it kind of makes sense. Richie, it kind of Richie. it kind of makes sense. Yeah. It makes it makes sense. Dan's reaching and everything. Every... <sighs> it's it's the not, cavities I'm from the drink. I'm quoting, candy people. Plus. I'm quoting people. It's the cavities. I'm quoting people. Cavities. So it's okay. It's Speaking of um boring waste of time deflections, uh <laughs> the hundred gigs. What did Kendrick do? Oh, my bad. The uh, you know, a hundred gigs uh, of beat roll and three songs. So it's you know, uh, so apparently Drake fed the streets with with the literal he did. his cameraman's uh, oh, backup folders for he a did. documentary. He did, aren't you, you full? Know. Oh my goodness! I I shut it out the second I left. <laughs> that was good. I am so straight through my system. So much nutrients. Starving. So much <laughs> even so much nutrients. <laughs> nah, it's good. The B roll thing is sick. I haven't really. I just see clips that Grand Rosa posts so yeah. hip hop DX. Oh, so you haven't even watched it. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm not gonna. I'm so not sitting down watching 100 fed. gigs. I'm not sitting down watching 100 you gigs. Get fed. You, you didn't even get well. fed, bro. You didn't even get that 100 you gig. Fed, you ain't got bro. no tummy full, fam. So yeah. right, he's already watched the pop out again. He's given given us he's given us nine new songs since uh, since Kendrick's given us none. So I'm yeah, he'd happy. be working. And look, those three songs were pretty sweet. The red, blue, and green good. was really cool. I like that one. I like them. They're all um, different like genres as well, yeah. which I like. What was the one called? It's up. They had Twenty One Savage. That was cool. It's like that was really cool. And I think Twenty One like Housekeeping. Yeah, the house, housekeeper knows or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh like yeah, the housey go. kind of one with that Gordo dude. He keeps working with, with Gordo him. and Lato. Yeah. Lado, that's right. Yeah, I don't yeah. Ain't going Lado because he's fucking an underage sister, so you know. I like this. Clearly not underage. A minor. I'm just saying. So, you remember? Do you, have you seen Steph Curry say, uh, "Oh, are we still playing this song again?" Have you seen that? Because I think that's how the streets are hard. feeling. Yeah, because yeah, it got thrashed. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. songs don't last forever. You fucking like everyone wants to hear Hotline well, some, Bling some, after the four hundred timeless time. Some are timeless. Uh, it'll be timeless, trust. It's going to be the greatest diss track of all I time. Think so. Steph history. Curry spoke. Steph Curry spoke. Oh, the, well. the, oh, obviously the hip hop expert. He just knows everything. 
<laughs> knows more than Rachel Gunn. Oh. <laughs> a blood, blood relative of yours. She has Rachel a Gunn. PhD. Thank you very much. Do not dish That's Rachel true. in our so presence. She's Dr. Rachel Gunn. I'm going to bust out the kangaroo on you. I'm going to hit my, my top left. Man's Ooh, smart. Wow. And I'm going to bust it out on you, bro. Pause. That would be good. I'm going to hit you. Oh. I'm gonna hit you with that fucking bunny hop to the pow matrix. You don't know about that. Ball. Feeding good, the streets with these moves. B mm. boys, B girls feeding. None mm. of this candy anyway. 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 So, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Speaking of the actual goat, Kanye West, it's an interesting situation <laughs> right now with Ye. Sad. So this is really sad. This is fucked up, actually. So it's from, a bad situation that your goat is currently in. Yes. Yeah, it's terrible. Well, my goat is terrible. crazy. My goat <laughs> has certifiable mental health issues because you can't be a ge- in his own words, name one genius that ain't crazy. That is true. I think so, he's a genius personally. You're right. He's a fucking genius. That's why he's off his he fucking tits. I love it. He's off his so, tits. He's off his fucking tits, bro. <laughs> so apparently, you know, lately, and I think it might be tied into this, he's been wearing like these crazy titanium uh yeah. grills and stuff, right? So apparently there's this fucking dentist guy who looks like um, it, it you should like pull, up a a fucking yeah, pull up a picture of him. Uh, Kanye, West. He, this guy's not a dentist. He's he's like definitely George not a doctor. From 007. Yeah, yeah he, basically, he's not he's not a doctor. I'm gonna he's try and get like the photo because he's like terrifying. Like, oh, there's got to be. I should have had that terrifying Latino man. Yeah, do you know what he's what's his name? Thomas uh-huh. Connolly. There you go. Uh, Thomas. Connolly, I'm trying to find like a good one. So Thomas can... Connolly DDS. Oh no, that's not. Oh, here we go. This is the type of photo I'm looking for. Boom. All right. Here we go. So we'll share this. Here so we go. See. So basically, um, Jack dude, head tattoos, like really not the type of guy you would expect uh to be, you know, fixing teeth and stuff. So that's not hair. That's tattoos. Oh, actually, hair over tattoos. But this other photo I saw, like, wonder if it's got it. Yeah, I guess he did these grills that make him look like he's toothless. <laughs> oh okay, so he's oh he does have hair. Maybe this earlier post Malone. Like, you know, the cunt's the cunt's pretty fucking jacked. Um mm-hmm. and just looks like the type. So apparently he is sort of like and him and like some of his like maybe business partners, you know, look, he's a flashy dude, you know, chains all that bullshit. Um he I got this other Reddit thing here that I'm gonna share. Nice. As well. Um so he um Apparently, him and these men have sort of worked their way into Kanye's life to the point they got him addicted to nitrous oxide, like the essentially whippets or laughing gas. Yeah. So there's all these pictures of Kanye with like the little nose, like breathable thing to inhale it. And apparently he's been on calls and then meetings with his team and stuff and, and on the nitro. And they're using that to manip- to weaken him because when you're high all the time, you can get people to do stuff and tell them to to do things so apparently they sold him a 2.4 million dollar nitrous oxide machine in his house wow. and, he, and kanye's paying rent so the dentist can live next door to him um to keep giving him stuff and this is the type of shit that killed michael jackson remember like if you have all right. these people mm-hmm. around you so apparently and then i saw these videos of uh his team had had got these like little wheelie almost looks like a road case like you transporting you know equipment on tour and opened up the case and all of these like folders full of like samples from yeezy um his mother's death certificate like his music equipment like some mixes and stuff like they actually got their hands on like real kanye like artifacts and his real stuff so they're stealing his shit and apparently it's all coming from milo uh yiannopoulos the you know that sort of right-wing racist greek dude who um used to work for him but all these things are basically he's the one who brought it to light and he said kanye because milo's a right-wing weirdo like extremist type of guy he doesn't like porn because they don't those guys don't like porn but mm-hmm. kanye knew that it would piss him off and get him to quit if he said he wants to start making porn again so then milo quit and now he's put in this is just saying that the california dental board has confirmed uh, that it's reviewing the evidence he submitted and launched an investigation. So there's now an actual investigation of, into this guy. He's been sharing a bunch of stuff. So it all seems pretty real, which is pretty sick. That's um, mm. which I like to see. So I mean, but either way, though, like it's pretty fucked up that Kanye let himself go like that. So now it begs the question, like. Who let it get that far? Like, why did his wife not intervene? Why did, you know, look, even if you think of it from a selfish perspective with Kim, like 
Kanye's money half, you know, that's going to her children too, even though she's a billionaire in her own right. But you know, mm -hmm. wouldn't she want to take care of her yeah, right. children's father to mm -hmm. it's not her duty to, but just to make sure that like he's not getting fucked, she has the resources to do that. It's just interesting that like nobody, or even Chris Jenner, because she cares about the grandkids and stuff. Like, why why didn't anyone step in and and take care of this when someone's trying to do that? To, uh, it's kind of crazy, bro. They're it's all pretty fucked interesting. Up. It's so crazy. Yeah, I so don't know. It's, it's disappointing, but yeah, that's all I really know about. It. I don't really know much else, but that's the Same. the main shit. So uh, shouts to Kanye, hopefully, and oh yeah, there's basically a trend right now. Hashtag save yay is mm. the, uh, the 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 hashtag. So that's where we're at with that. So do you guys want to do a quick little dice roll thing to bring this little bitch that's on home, or you want to do something else? <laughs> do it. I don't know what else there is to do. Wait, wait, just dice roll it. Yeah, dice roll. All right, bring up the dice rolls then, you fucks. What's All the right. thing called? Just put dice. My dice roller. Google dice roller. Oops. Okay, perfect. Ah, shit, bitch. Let me Fuck. remove this. Oh, there it is. All right. Last time it didn't come up. Oh, it didn't come up? Yeah, it should. It's like a Google-based thing. It is. All yeah, right. Gotcha. All right, so we're going to present. Look, look, so much presenting. Dice roller. Hey. All right. right. I'll present right on your... Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, you better. All right, Dan's got his. Dan, zoom in and stuff. Notes do the same thing. Oh, yes. Send it, present. All right, okay. This is Turn the hard part. Oh, you want to? Oh, you, you want to start? You're gonna bring it up on the screen though. Who's doing it? Well, so you can cool. go first, but oh, bring up. Well, I need your thing. You have to. Running, someone's on the screen first. That's me. That's me. Go for it. you. Go first then. Okay. Well, you can't have to turn around. Yeah. Well, fucking let's do all it. Right. Then. All right. All right. All right. All right. Why are you yelling at me? I'm not, mate. You're yelling at me so much. Did I close it? Oh, you turn back. I, I closed it. Nice. And you just embarrassed me. Tilda. Yeah. No, you just Guys, uh, don't me. yell God. at me, y'all. Oh, my gosh. God. In front of all these people. In front of all these people. In front of, like, we're still killing it in Turkey. No, there's there's, there's, there's man up there. We appreciate you. Shouts to y'all. Mm -hmm. I still want to know what's going on with... um. What's Is that what it's called? Turkestan? Is that the name? Is that how you say the country name? I don't want to fuck it up. There's, One. There's One, go. All right, now turn around, dicks. All right, turning around. Dicks. Dicks. All right, I'm rolling. Roll it. And I rolled, and I'm off screen. You're good. Cool. Oh, cool. Okay, all right. I'm trying to give this something that's a bit... Make it good. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying not to be obvious. Because sometimes mm -hmm. things are just obvious, you know. You can get it straight away, but it's hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, Toronto drivers slash Ontario drivers. One. Oh. One. Yeah, I think he'll. I think he'll go one. I don't think he would do anything. Well, it's gonna there be a are there one. are there are worse. There are there are worse mm. drivers. There are Miami drivers. Like Miami drivers are worse. Than it might Toronto be a two drivers. then. So I think it might be a two. Safety but, one. Or, uh, it's like one or two. It's, I reckon it's going to be low. One, gonna be... given his recent experience, maybe. All right. Is all I'm thinking. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Go. Yeah. Lock in one. Go on. Oh. 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 Hey. Nice one. All right. Well done. Nice. Daniel, could have, been a, could have been a two easily. All right. Turn around. Turn around right fucking now. Both of you. I'm watching wow. now. Turn around. Dig I'm watching Manus, please. Turn around. Please turn around. There you go. Please. Please. Okay, cool. Come back. Come back. Both right. of you. Both of you. In it. Okay. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with grapefruit. Hmm. Probably four, I reckon. I, I was thinking three was my first thing that came into my head. Okay. I feel like grapefruit is a polarizing fruit. So my guess is yeah, okay, that's a good point. Positive. It, is, it is quite love or hate. Yeah. And I'm thinking that you wouldn't really, unless you're like, I've never heard dad talk about grapefruit. So my guess is that it's it not something in the, in the morning. Time. Yeah. Now, is it all, should we go? I don't know if it's like a hatred. 
mm, or if it's like a, it's like not a preferred not a preference that's it like how mm. what, what's your with that what do you think what, what's your gut telling you well we're, we're really close to each other's like we said three or four right we said four i think and then i'm pretty sure like three of the four could go so if you if you're feeling more on the polarizing <sighs> front because it is that's a good point that's so i'd go three because you said that if not Let's like go three. Shake your tall. Let's go three it up. All right, Dan. Let's All go. right, let's three up. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 Get disgusting. You don't hear me speak about it because I never have it again. Well, it's we got we got closer, bad. didn't we? We got closer with the yeah, yeah, you're close, you're close. But I would literally rather eat lemon with the fucking rind. Oh, as opposed to fucking it's horrible, that man. Imagine oh, going so two ones in a row. That's pretty rare. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, no, it's pretty rare. All right, all right. Share rare. your screen with us, Nosh, because I don't have it here. Oh, Press uh, present. Uh, present. Like Miss Chokes my dick. Present them. Present them. Why don't you suck on that box? Share. There we go. Ready? All right. Can you make it on the on yeah. the, the the pink oh, yeah, one, the, the ten dice? Yeah, and then press and click on the green one on the screen. It. It'll go away. Oh, I know. On the, on the screen. Oh my god! On the screen. Press the screen. <laughs> press the screen. Yeah. Oh, there you go. No, okay. I, turn I did that the first time. Okay, ready? Turn around, you bitch ready? ass motherfuckers. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Turn around. Wait, turn oh. around. Oh, no, this guy. We saw it. Also, it, saw it, it was it. that's three ones in a row. That's three wrong. ones in a row. What's the deal with that? It's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Again. I just rolled again and it's a one. What? I'm rolling again right now. Okay. And then I got a four. I'm just doing a couple. No, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. No, now no, I got no, an eight. Cool. Okay. Fine, that's fine. That's fine. I'm letting it rip. Let's right. go. You know what? No more ones. So, no, sh do it again. We'll turn around. All right, turn and around. If mm -hmm. it's a one, do it again just because it means there's something going on with this tonight. All right, you're around? Yep. Cool. We good? Yep. Yep. All righty. All righty, big dog. All right, big dog. This is annoying. Um. Yeah, I know. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Unless it's one or ten or five. It's a bitch. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. We need like a need some thinking music. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, daydreaming. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Oh yeah. I'm not yeah, okay. Like oh, freestyle, freestyle. You're a rapper, freestyle. Yo, let's go. Oh, so just try. Um, hey, yeah. Listen. Oh. Yeah. All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. Yeah, tell me. All right. Fast food. Oh. I, I wouldn't say it's a it's okay, so it's lower than five. Lower than five for sure. But no for does sure. fuck with it. But okay, when he says fast food, this is an interesting choice of words because if he said McDonald's, I'd be like one or two or something. Yeah. Okay, so then, okay, so like just to take out that's food fine, that's fine. sorry, take not fast food. That's the you know, that's a good that's a good distinction because that changes the whole trajectory yeah, of your business. Uh take out places like restaurants you would order from, just take out. They don't okay. do okay. you can't sit in there like a burger joint that doesn't have any spots or like a no, fish and chip shop in Melbourne. Too. You can eat at these places too. Just like okay. so, so it's like a, it can be anything from McDonald's to like a Nando's. Anything you could get on Uber oh, Eat. So like, you could get like on Uber steak. Is. You get like high end steak. Yeah, so like ordering, okay, ordering food or something. Wait, wait, I'm getting too far away from the thing here. Does if you said ordering food, does that align with the number? I guess so. Let's because just... fast food oh, specifically now... has a connotation, oh, and I, I think you got to be maybe more specific. So what I would probably do, if it's going to be like that, like I would choose a specific. A okay, Chinese like, takeout. Boom, go. Chinese takeout. Okay. Ooh. So that changes it because I know that no, she does a lot. like Chinese food a lot. Um, mm, oh, we census stuff here, not me. No, no, it's got to be you. It's got to be you. Then I can't think of one. Okay, because it's if it's not if it's generally speaking, 
everyone has their own thing. The idea is to guess what that person thinks of the thing. Hence, if I said Trader Joe's, maybe some people think Trader Joe's is shit, but I think it's a tent type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. It's pressure. It's tough. You know okay. what? I got, I got this. This is called feeding the ducks. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like a code word for wanking. This is feeding the ducks. Feeding this the chooks. Hey, I can't think of one. Wow, fed. Hey, fucking wow. ducks fed. Feed the ducks. Come. Yeah. Mm. Ducks are freestyle, hungry. Freestyle, freestyle, bitch. I am. No, more, more. Freestyle, more. <laughs> Shut up, you big. <laughs> All right, soccer. Go soccer. One. Uh, I think he's gonna go with like an eight because I don't think it's his favorite, but I know he likes it. I eight know he is likes it. so high, really. I think it's a seven. Now you said that, so I think it's a seven. All right, he I likes can it, but he doesn't. I, I don't know if he loves it, but I know he no. does like it. He likes to dabble. Okay, likes to play and watch. <laughs> don't we all? Uh, okay, we all. all right. Let's call it seven. Let's call it seven. All right, no, seven. Sure. Let's call seven. Lock let's in. Do it. I don't know, so I'm cool to go with what you think. Let's go. There we go. Oh. 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 oh, see, I told you it was gonna be long. I couldn't think wow. of anything. What else is mid? I couldn't think of anything. I think everything is so extreme. Oh. Okay. oh, I know, I know what you should have said. For the head you probably should have said uh, what's his name? B roll. Oh. I haven't uh, seen the guy in Aubrey. No, no, wait, wait. It's the guy that I haven't seen is so the guy long. given the streets to cavities. What's wow. his name? Oh, is it, it's about the guy who got the biggest song of the year who Kenneth. Got destroyed. Is it Drake. Kenneth? Is it Kenneth? Yeah, Kenneth. Ken. Ken. Kenny. What's yeah. his name? Is that his name? Kenny. Yeah, Kenny yeah, yeah. Lamer. Kenny Lamer. Yeah, the name. streets yeah, are fed, yeah. bro. Streets yeah, nourished. Streets just fed and oh, nourished. Goodness. Next one. All right, Go. I'm up. Uh, All right. boom. All right, turning around. All right, dickheads, turn around or kick him. All right, wait. Oh shit! Wait, 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 and it's safe. I don't know why I didn't go back. All right, all right. What we're we gonna do? I'm trying to think of something. Uh, not something that'll throw y'all off, but just something you think about. Okay, mm. Bucky's. Oh, do you guys know what Bucky's is? Yeah, yeah, I know Bucky's. Off medicine. It's uh no, it is that's Buckley's. Um, <laughs> Bucky's is a an absurd gas station in uh, rural parts of southern USA. It is it has about two hundred and fifty petrol pumps. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the size of a Walmart on the inside. They have a full clothing department, merch. They make fresh. They got people constantly making fresh fudge, pulled pork sandwiches, brisket sandwiches. They make their own jerky on site. They get their so own. Nine. Um, yeah. I think a nine sounds pretty. Yeah, a nine in the context of gas Sorry. stations, it might even be a ten. But like, I'm I'm happy to go nine. I'm Lock happy it. to go nine. Lock yeah, it in nine. Let's let's, let's, let's like, cock it in. If we, yo, he would just he sounds like he's frothing and he's like got a boner. So like you know, mm -hmm. it's like Trader Joe's on crack, dude. So it sounds like he's gonna roll a high one. Like if Trader Joe's was massive <laughs> and had a gas ads, dude. Look, his fingers on the mouse, his finger in yeah, the mouse. I know. Oh shit! <laughs> wow, ten out of ten. Wow, you love that shit. Jizz worthy, dude. Wow. I've seen a lot of yeah. videos about what a hoarder, but He's it does best. seem pretty cool. I keep the Yeezys on there. I'd love to go there. It's the best, bro. I hope Holy that shit, has I'm not sure if they do. They had we went twice in Nashville. It was actually in Kentucky. Wow. Uh, it's just the best. I just, I really want you both to experience it. Trav from Bodega sh shouts to fucking Trav when me, him, and Keynote were driving back from austin to dallas he's like bro i need to show you bucky's and we specifically pulled off the highway in uh -huh. there so that he could show me and i was like what in the fuck is this wow. then when we were driving down so i went one time didn't even really might not have even made a big deal about it and we were driving we'd, we'd left savannah georgia we were pulling into like the northern part of florida past jacksonville and i started seeing signs on the freeway to bucky's and there's one in daytona beach and i Took Tiff there, and she oh. just was like, "Fuck off!" It's wow. so fire. So now, it's like a the best part of the road trips. But I don't know where else it is. Like the Tennessee ones were nowhere near Nashville. It's only in Kentucky. I didn't realize because I only searched in that in Tennessee. I didn't search in Kentucky. Um, mm. So I hope 
Georgia has some. I don't know though. It might not be far enough. So if you ever happen, that's one thing about road trips. You like Dan, you fly all the time, so you'll never see one. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, it's worth it. Yeah. Well, if you if you're flying all the time, you won't see one because it's not near an airport. You know, so. But I'm saying, I mean, I'm saying it to say, drive somewhere, because oh, it's the best. They right. do have. There's two in Georgia, so. There is two. Where about? Is it near Atlanta? In like, Georgia, it's, I've never heard of these places. Adairsville and Fort Valley. Oh, on the way down. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, you, there you know, go. fucking rock solid cunt. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's all right. Yeah. So this is oh, this is the best fucking news ever, cock. Oh, oh there's on the 75 South. We'll definitely be taking the 75 South. Where are we coming from? Cincinnati. Yeah, bitch. Suck my dick. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking nice. go. All right. Who's up? Is it Dan or Nosh is up? Moi. Okay. All right, All right. Dick right. Nose. Do it. Turn around. Turn the fuck around. Both of you. Both fuck's of you. sake. No, no cheating. No cheating. No fucking cheating. I swear to God. I swear to fucking. Okay. Come back. Boom, 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 boom. This is the last one, right? Because now we've all done two each. Uh, yeah, you did two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to make it last one, nah, yeah, we're fine. at one thirty. It's fine. All right, let's wrap this all bitch right, up. Right. With this one down. All right, Dan. Um. Hmm. Let me go with Drake. It's let's make it. Right. Oh wait, um, let's give you some, wait, wait, wait. Let's give you some. I feel, I feel rude. Oh yeah, give me some of that. Give me some. This of is that. into space. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Drake, oh. 100 gigs of B rolls. Whack. Okay. Yeah. I got one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm listening to this. I got one. I got one. I got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B roll shit. What a mm -hmm. shit thing to do. Fuck his 100 gigs. Mm -hmm. What a shit cunt, mate. Yeah. Oh, Drake, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go with. Yeah. Uh, that's our new spit bar song. That's it. Anyway, we just wrap over that. Song. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> I did the dumbest shit ever. Oh, All right, go, 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 go. Um, Kendrick Lamar. Ten. It's gonna have to be a nine or a ten. Yes. No, it's it's gonna for Dan. It's gonna be for five. Dan's gonna be lower than than it's him. mid. Yeah. It's either five or one. Like it's either like he's saying he's mid because I like it's gonna be like a three, dude. Okay, can I like can I ask a question about this? Is that possible? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> answer if you think it's fair is this like a dan troll answer or a dan real feelings answer because those are two different things what do you think i would do right now i think you oh. troll because you're 100 gigas b-roll bitch wow. i'm not i'm not i'm not trolling i'm not trolling okay i it's, think dan likes it just go four or five no if he's in, uh, no no okay if it was a troll answer it'd be like one or five because it's mid but I think Dan actually likes Kendrick. I think he's just mad that he absolutely embarrassed Drake on a world stage continuously for weeks for on months, end. Months, months. From a month. And then people were talking about it forever. Months. The best Drake track of all time. And then all he had to come back with was B-roll, but whatever. It's not neither here nor there. <laughs> the, 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 the actual quality of the music, while Dan doesn't love everything Kendrick is doing, he appreciates the skill and does actually enjoy you know to, to at least to some degree so with that context i don't know i was thinking like really like a seven or an eight eight probably a little high maybe a seven hmm. or do you think i'm being too i think kind? too kind i can yeah what's, what's your gut tell you like a four or a five okay why don't we meet halfway do a we, we, let, let's do or we just do five i said seven but maybe we just do five and go the mid five. argument and see if he thinks he's actually mid all right probably not, probably not five pages, but, uh, right. what do you think it. what do you think let's five it up here five? we go all right it's five it. oh. No. Oh. Oh. i was right god damn it I description trust myself was so perfect yeah. beyond belief and then you said seven. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. I was like, "Fair enough, fair enough." Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, okay, I no troll. I, I like, I like Kendrick, man. I like I him, you. but it's just not all. Familiar. It's just too weird. Some of the stuff is just not old weird. enough yet. I don't like because you said you were trolling, and if I, if you didn't say, you said, "What do you think I would do?" And I think you would troll. And then if I didn't think you were going to troll, I would have said seven. But then I was like, "Okay, if I think you're trolling, then like." That would be a different score. So I was like, well, it doesn't hurt to to go a little mm -hmm. lower. But I'm glad I got the general. It was uh, perfect. Yeah. Like, it's exactly what you said. 
there's just some of it's just not for me and he yeah. does have some fucking bangers and he also yeah. has some weird fucking songs that i'm like no i actually feel exactly the same though i think yeah. some, some stuff we like the different stuff i think fucking to pimp a butterfly is basically perfect but there's mm-hmm. a lot of stuff that everyone else likes i'm just like yeah like i don't really like damn that yeah. much. it's okay i don't really like good kid yeah, and I, I really i really like damn you see him um, yeah. I wasn't a big fan of Mr. Morales. I think it's what makes Mr. Morales worse for me is the fact Future released a better album the same year. And I uh, don't get me wrong, I think I, I love Future, but uh, if we're comparing someone who pe- like people claim is like the greatest rapper of all time, and that's what he dropped, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, that's that's not it, bro. That's, that's fair. Not. The only I don't I don't disagree with that. The only thing is that the other best rappers of all time have dropped some fucking mid scale. Very, very true. Jay, very true. Nas, fucking probably the only consistent cat of all time, arguably, is Black Thought slash The Roots. Like, he's mm-hmm. very, I don't think he's put anything out that's like that's like mid or whack or whatever. So everyone's kind of done it. That's why I was like, ah, oh. and I wasn't the biggest country fan anyway. So I was like, sure, this isn't. I'll... I like it in hindsight more now. There's a few songs that come on playlists that I'm like, what's that from? And it was the morale. I'm like, no shit. There's like a few bangers. There's but... a few. He, there's even a song on Mr. Morale with Kodak Black, which I think is there the is. best song on the whole thing. <laughs> it's so good. Well, it's really fucking good. Who would have thought Kodak Black? Hang on. What... Oh, I'm going to do both of these. My bad. Okay, there we there go. There you go. So mm-hmm. that guys, nice little app. So I don't know if we're gonna be here next week just because it might be too soon to me going away. Mm-hmm. We shall see. We'll keep in touch about it. But mm-hmm. uh it's one of the, and then I'll be a couple of weeks off. But yeah. Um no biggie is what happens in summer. Then things will start to kind of be a little more consistent in September onwards. But yeah. uh, well in September I'll be in Spain for a few days, but I might it might not clash. With and if it does, then we'll time. take it off. I don't think it's a big yeah, deal. Yeah, I feel yeah. like once it gets like I even noticed with some of the high season stuff, the the, the the attendance for some of the lives and stuff, everything's dipped because it's summer. Everyone's just checked out. Mm-hmm. Or like, I think this part now, like the July coming into August, time it's like people are just like, I don't give a fuck. And then September mm-hmm. comes, and then people are paying paying people back. Time, so yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm not like super stressed about even BOS where patchy as fuck right now. As Notion knows, like he's not getting as many apps to. I don't even have one this week to then go out next week. So it's, um, you know, we're just doing what we can, guys. We also have to live too, you know what I'm saying? So if we're not exactly. making a, a full-time living off this, then it happens when it happens. Then it happens when it happens. So with that, Daniel, where can everyone find you online, mate? Uh, HGFGXMING. Follow my shit. I'm getting so many shares. It's so crazy. So Really? Eh? Like 200 and something shares in like one post and then another one's got almost like 300 nice. 500 likes on one of them got 12k views it's sick so clout, clout man over here it's, it's just clout man like what can i say Jeez, I'm, going actually, to, wow. I'm going to coffers creek to play some golf and stuff you know life just changes when you get that many videos <laughs> it's weird. Uh, yeah. it's like weird. <laughs> I just see things from a different perspective <laughs> you're a fucking idiot that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great don't oh, good work God. All right, you check know. that out. Make sure you give him a share too. Notion. Get a dog up here. Uh, at Notion Baby on Instagram and all that shit. Uh, at Notion MTB on YouTube. New episode dropping on Saturday for the Don Jam 2024. And also every Saturday at 1 p.m. anyway. Get a trail up here. See, Feezy. C double E F O R. It's Instagram, Twitter. I'm not even, I don't even post anywhere really. Who gives a fuck? Oh, no. um, but stop posting on threads. Threads is actually low key, is pretty fucking lit. It's pretty I lit. Yeah. I keep hearing that. Really over there, yeah. Very cool. I just couldn't be fucked. I just, I just don't care. Mm-hmm. I know, but I got to check it out. So it's, um, the it's the place. Yes. Well, CWFO on threads. Hit me on threads. I'd be threading, boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you guys for watching and listening. If you enjoyed the episode, smash the little thumbs up. Hit subscribe below. Hit that notification. Ding oh. dong. So you know when the new new drops. Follow us everywhere at the Movement Fam at Bad Habits Pod on instagram we're basically trying to be here record every monday kind of drop late monday evening at eastern once again gonna be a little patchy maybe for the next uh, rest of this month and then after that we should be fairly consistent so mm-hmm. with that i won't play the song though she can just do it in it because it keeps cutting off and we'll see you mad dogs Kitchcom.